number one quarterback available in this year's draft. 6'4", 233 pounds, classic drop back quarterback with athletic ability. We've got a tape we'll show you a little later where you see what kind of athlete he is also. runs a 4-8. Why is he your number one guy above national champion and, and what everybody, other, other people believe is number one in the kid from North Carolina? I think Tr Mitch Trubisky had the best tape I saw, I saw this year. I think his tape was the best. I think of the four quarterbacks who are highly inconsistent as far as starting day one in the NFL, I think Kaiser has the biggest upside. Here's Kaiser again. My biggest issue with Kaiser's tape is most of it was really good, but in the fourth quarter of several games when they really needed him, I felt like his pocket mechanics deteriorated. I thought his decision-making and accuracy deteriorated, and I thought it was because he was trying to do too much. I understand need here, Mike. But if you have second round grades on all of these quarterbacks, and some of them go in the top 10, isn't that dangerous? Well, here's the qualification. When I say second round grades, I think they all four of them have first round talent. Okay. Okay, I felt like Kaiser should have gone back. I felt like Trubisky should have gone back. They're not ready. And Mariota's the one that picked it up the most quickly. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about Deshaun right here, Kaiser. I want to show them I've got quick feet, and I understand that I've got to open up that left hip and get back on the other side. And then I want to show them that mechanically I've been working hard on three-step and under center. That's exactly right, because like you said, a lot of these guys have not been under center. And you can tell the guys, they're still working through it, but, but they've definitely, definitely put some work in. I mean, Deshaun Kaiser looked really comfortable underneath. There's some guys that know how to... Know how to get to this three-step drop, sit on that back foot, and then just lay that ball in the spot. I mean, this slant can it can change. This angle can be a 45-degree angle. It can be a flatter angle. Big Lance was going to jump on that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Interesting group. There you go, Deshaun. It's two in a row for him. That's good. Here's, like you said, there's no one around him here, and he looks looks the part. Here's Kaiser. Okay, Kaiser has got a big arm. Yeah, you can tell he's, he's not, not really straining to throw this ball out there. So this is all going to be rhythm, you know, placement of the ball for him. He's not going to have to struggle to throw this. Effectively, they're taking three big steps to get away from the line of scrimmage, and then the last two are small to get their feet aligned with the throw. Exactly. The last two are just to get your hips underneath you, to balance your feet underneath you, and then to open up that left hip. Which, you know, kind of get it closed there and miss it to the inside. Bootleg under center, because if you're going to have a run game under center, you've got to have a pass game off it. Yeah, you want to be a fish out of water. If you can offensive coordinator uh, evaluate this drill, Mike, right now, are they watching one specific position that they think they need more, or the, and they'll watch the rest on tape later? I'm just wondering how it's evaluated in real time, because we're paying attention now as a television broadcast to one side of this. The offensive did. coordinator has his staff set up. Right. The wideouts or coaches are watching the wideouts, the quarterback coaches on the quarterback, and the coordinators typically are just kind of going back and forth between whatever they want to do. In the ground. Consistency in the drop. <laughs> Balls in the same spot every time. Yep. The things can change in the National Football League. Remarkable. No and doubt. still win 13 games. I mean, win 13 games to boot. No, he, he did a great job. And, and the nice thing for his conversion in the NFL was they didn't have to depend on him too much because they had that offensive line. Sometimes you just press. Let's look at Kaiser's front foot. So there's pretty good. Yep. Moments ago, getting ready for his big combine. We'll show it to you live on NFL Network again. Long day. We're another thing too. Uh, off that, off that break. Get that snap right, right here. Off that break. Drop your head and run. That second break to the corner. Just drop your head and run. Uh, it's tall, skinny dude. Right. Yeah, it does. As soon as he decides to let it go, it, it pops right off the shoulder. So I can't so believe how old I'm getting. Well, I was about to say, about, and I thought Kaya by far is the smoothest with his footwork, no the most comfortable. Yeah, Kaya's looked the most like he's done it before. Yeah, I think he's married it all up.